Inglewood is a city in southwestern Los Angeles County, California, southwest of downtown Los Angeles. As of the 2010 U.S. Census, the city had a population of 109,673. It was incorporated on February 14, 1908. The city is in the South Bay region of the Greater Los Angeles area. History Pre-American era the earliest residents of what is now Inglewood were Indians or Native Americans who used the natural springs in today's Edward Vincent Jr. Park. Local historian Gladys Waddingham wrote that these springs took the name Centaur from the hills that rose gradually around them and which allowed ranchers to watch over their herds. Waddingham traced the written history of Inglewood back to the original settlers of Los Angeles in 1781, one of whom was the Spanish soldier José Manuel Orcado Machado, a 23-year-old muleteer from Los Alamos in Sinaloa. These settlers, she wrote, were ordered by the officials of the San Gabriel Mission to graze their animals on the ocean side of Los Angeles in order not to infringe on mission lands. As a result, the settlers, or pobladores, drove some of their cattle to the lush pasture lands near Sentinel Springs, and the first construction there was done by one Ignacio Avila who received a permit in 1822 to build a corral and hut for his herders. Later Avila constructed a three-room of Doby on a slight rise overlooking the creek that ran from Sentinel Springs all the way to the ocean. According to the Laokai website, this adobe was built where the present baseball field is in the park. It no longer exists. In 1834 Ignacio Machado, one of the sons of José Machado, built the Sentinel Adobe, which sits on a rise above the present 405 San Diego Freeway and is used as the headquarters of the Sentinel Valley Historical Society. Two years later, Waddingham writes, Ignacio was granted the 2,220-acre Rancho Aguage de la Sentinela even though this land had already been claimed by Avila. American era through the years Inglewood Park Cemetery, a widely used cemetery for the entire region, was founded in 1905. The city has been home to the Hollywood Park racetrack from 1938 to 2013, one of the premier horse racing venues in the United States. Foster's Freeze, the first soft-serve ice cream chain in California, was founded by George Foster in 1946 in Inglewood. Inglewood was named an All-America City by the National Civic League in 1989 and yet again recently in 2009 for its visible progress. Ku Klux Klan Ku Klux Klan activities in Inglewood during the 20th century were highlighted by the 1922 arrest and trial of 37 men, most of them masked, for a nighttime raid on a suspected bootlegger and his family. The raid led to the shooting death of one of the culprits, an Inglewood police officer. A jury returned a not guilty verdict for all defendants who completed the trial. It was this scandal, according to the Los Angeles Times, that eventually led to the outlawing of the Klan in California. The Klan had a chapter in Inglewood as late as October 1931. African-American influence No blacks had ever lived in Inglewood, Gladys Waddingham wrote, but by 1960, they lived in great numbers along its eastern borders. This came to the great displeasure of the predominantly white residents already residing in Inglewood. In 1960, the census counted only 29 Negroes among Inglewood's 63,390 residents. Not a single black child attended the city's schools. Real estate agents refused to show homes to blacks. A rumored curfew kept blacks off the streets at night. Inglewood was a prime target because of its previous history of restrictions. Fair housing and school busing were the main problems of 1964. The schools were not prepared to handle racial incidents, even though any that occurred were very minor. 
Adults held many heated community meetings, since the blacks objected to busing as much as did the whites. In 1969, an organization called Morningside Neighbors changed its name to Inglewood Neighbors in the hope of promoting more integration. On February 3, 1969, Harold P. Morritt became Inglewood's first black police officer. A full year later Jimmy Lee Warsham became the second. He was followed by Barbara Harris, the first black female officer, then Otis Hendricks, Melvin Lovelace and Eugene Lindsay. The seventh black officer in the history of the city of Inglewood was James T. Butts, Jr. He became Inglewood's first black motorcycle traffic enforcement officer, first black lieutenant, captain and only black deputy chief in the history of the department. Butts left Inglewood in September 1991 at the age of 38 to become the first person of color to command the Santa Monica Police Department as chief of police, and the youngest ever to do so. Twenty years later, on February 1, 2011 Butts returned to Inglewood by being elected as its fourth black mayor. On July 22, 1970, Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Max F. Deutz ordered Inglewood schools to desegregate in response to a suit filed by 19 parents, at least since 1965, said Deutz. The Inglewood School Board had been aware of a growing influx of black families into its eastern areas but had done nothing about the polarization of its pupils into an eastern black area and a western white one. On August 31, he rejected an appeal by four parents who said the school board was not responsible for the segregation but that the blacks selected their places of residence by voluntary choice. The first black principal among the 18 Inglewood schools was Peter Butler at La Tijera Elementary, and in 1971, Waddingham wrote, Stormy racial meetings in 1971 included a charge by some real estate men in the overflowing Crozier Auditorium that the Human Relations Commission was acting like the Gestapo. In that year, Lloyd Sterling Webb, president of Inglewood Neighbors, became the first black office holder when voters elected him to the school board. In 1972, Curtis Tucker Sr. was appointed as the first black city council member. That year, composer Leroy Herter, an African-American, took the baton of the Inglewood Symphony Orchestra and continued to work with it for 20 years. Edward Vincent became Inglewood's first black mayor in 1983. In that decade, whites left the city in increasing numbers and Inglewood became the first city in California to declare the birthday of Martin Luther King, Jr. as a holiday. Rise of Latino population The 1990 census showed that Hispanics in Inglewood had increased by 134% since 1980. The largest jump in the South Bay, economic factors apparently played a role in where new arrivals settled, said David Heer, a USC professor of sociology and associate director of the university's population research laboratory. Housing is generally less expensive here than elsewhere, and I would say that they receive a warmer welcome here, said Norm Cravens, assistant city manager in Inglewood, where the Anglo population dropped from nearly 21% in 1980 to 8.5% in 1990. In the 2000 census, blacks made up 47% of the city's residents, and Hispanics made up 46%. But the Census Bureau estimated that in 2007 the percentage of blacks had declined to 41% and that of Hispanics of any race were at 52.5%. The white population declined from 19% to 17.7%. But in that year, only one of the city's five city council members was Latino, Jose Fernandez. There were no Latinos on the five-member Board of Education, Geography, Location and Area According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 9.1 square miles. Downtown Inglewood is 4.15 miles from Los Angeles International Airport. 
Landmarks The Forum was built in 1968 and designed by architect Charles Luckman, who also designed Madison Square Garden. The Forum was intended to evoke the Roman Forum. For decades the Forum was one of LA's biggest deal concert venues. Elvis Presley, Led Zeppelin and the Jackson 5 were among the superstars to headline the arena. The Forum also achieved its greatest fame as the home of the NBA's Los Angeles Lakers and the NHL's Los Angeles Kings. In 2000, both teams moved to the Staples Center and the Forum was sold to the Faithful Central Bible Church, which used it for Sunday services and rented it out once in a while for concerts or sporting events. In 2012, the Forum was purchased by the Madison Square Garden Company, owners of New York's Madison Square Garden. For $23.5 million, MSG announced plans to spend $50 million to refurbish and renovate the arena for use as a world-class concert venue. The Fabulous Forum presented by Chase reopened on January 15, 2014 with the first of six historic performances by the legendary Eagles. The reinvention of the Forum has created the largest indoor performance venue in the country designed with a focus on music and entertainment. Climate According to the Koppen Climate Classification System, Inglewood has a Mediterranean climate. Neighborhoods Inglewood consists of a number of neighborhoods which are indicated by a symbol on street signs. The neighborhoods are Morningside Park, Downtown, Fairview Heights, Arbor Village, Sentinel Heights, Sports Village, Century Heights, Inglewood Knolls, and Lock Haven. Crenshaw Imperial The Crenshaw Imperial District was a later annexation to Inglewood. It has its own branch public library and an important shopping center for the area. Morningside Park Morningside Park is a district in the eastern part of the city. Though the city of Inglewood does not define the district's boundaries, it may be delineated by Hyde Park on the north, Manchester Square on the east, Century Boulevard on the south and Prairie Avenue on the west. The major streets that run through the area are Manchester and Crenshaw Boulevards. It is six miles from Los Angeles International Airport and about two miles from the former Hollywood Park racetrack and the Forum where for 31 years the Los Angeles Lakers and Los Angeles Kings played. North Inglewood and Fairview Heights North Inglewood is the area north of the Santa Fe Railroad tracks. In 2009, it was reported to be the site of a burgeoning art scene centered at East Hyde Park Boulevard and La Brea Avenue. Fairview Heights is a signed area north of Florence and east of La Brea. Demographics 2010 Census The 2010 United States Census reported that Inglewood had a population of 109,673. The population density was 12,062.1 people per square mile. The racial makeup of Inglewood was 48,165 African American, 25,563 White, 751 Native American, 1,484 Asian, 350 Pacific Islander, 28,860 from other races, and 4,502 from two or more races. Hispanics or Latinos made up 50.6% of the population. The census reported that 108,171 people lived in households, 987 lived in non-institutionalized group quarters, and 515 were institutionalized. There were 36,389 households, out of which 15,315 had children under the age of 18 living in them. 13,095 were married couples living together. 8,987 had a female householder with no husband present. 2,937 had a male householder with no wife present. There were 2,318 unmarried partnerships and 234 same-sex partnerships. 
9,346 households were made up of individuals and 2,776 had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.97. There were 25,019 families. The average family size was 3.59. The population was spread out with 29,293 people under the age of 18, 11,853 people aged 18 to 24, 31,650 people aged 25 to 44. 26,621 people aged 45 to 64, and 10,256 people who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 33.4 years. For every 100 females there were 90.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 86.8 males. There were 38,429 housing units at an average density of 4,226.5 per square mile, of which 13,447 were owner-occupied, and 22,942 were occupied by renters. The homeowner vacancy rate was 1.5%, the rental vacancy rate was 5.5%. 43,040 people lived in owner-occupied housing units and 65,131 people lived in rental housing units. According to the 2010 United States Census, Inglewood had a median household income of $43,394, with 22.4% of the population living below the federal poverty line. 2006 survey source for this section is the American Community Survey conducted by the U.S. Census Bureau in 2006. Numbers may be rounded to the nearest whole figure. Inglewood's population of 129,900 in 2006 was relatively youthful, with a median age of 31, compared to 36 in the nation as a whole. 11% of its residents were under 5 years of age, as against 7% in the rest of the country. Some 8% were 65 or older, versus 12% elsewhere. It was a city of renters squeezing into a limited amount of space. Of Inglewood's 37,562 occupied housing units, just 39% were owned by the people who lived in them. The other units were rented out. Only 5% of its housing units were vacant, much less than the 12% across the country. The number of people living in each unit was about 3.7 persons, versus 2.7 elsewhere. Family size was 3.9 people, compared to 3.2. It was estimated that 18% of Inglewood families had incomes below the poverty level, about twice that of the country at large. About 17% of Inglewood's residents had earned a bachelor's degree or higher. 29% of the city's population were foreign-born, compared to 13% in the nation as a whole. Mapping LA In 2009, the Los Angeles Times S. Mapping LA project supplied these neighborhood statistics based on the 2000 census. The population was 112,482, or 12,330 people per square mile, among the highest densities for the South Bay and among the highest densities for the county. The percentage of African Americans was high for the county, and the population was moderately diverse. Median household income was $46,574, low for both the South Bay and for the county. The median age was 29, young for the county, the percentage of residents aged 10 or under was among the county's highest. Three people, on the average, lived in each household, high for the South Bay but about average for the county. There was a higher percentage of families headed by single parents than elsewhere in the county. The percentage of veterans who served during 1975 to 89 and 1990 to 99 was among the county's highest. The diversity index measures the probability that any two residents, chosen at random, would be of different ethnicities. 
If all residents are of the same ethnic group it's zero. If half are from one group and half from another it's 50. Government and politics. Government municipal government The city of Inglewood has a council city manager type of government. The mayor is an elected office and is the chief executive officer, but in all other regards is an equal member of the city council. The mayor of Inglewood is James T. Butts, Jr., who took office after unseating Daniel K. Tabor who completed the term of Roosevelt Dawn. The Inglewood Police Department is the police department. Federal representation in the United States House of Representatives, Inglewood is split between California's 37th Congressional District, represented by Democrat Karen Bass, and California's 43rd Congressional District, represented by Democrat Maxine Waters. State representation in the California State Legislature, Inglewood is in the 35th Senate District, represented by Democrats Isidore Hall III and in the 62nd Assembly District, represented by Democrat Autumn Burke. Los Angeles County Inglewood is part of Los Angeles County, for which the government of Los Angeles County is defined and authorized under the California Constitution, California law, and the Charter of the County of Los Angeles. The county government is primarily composed of the elected five-member Board of Supervisors, other elected officers including the Sheriff district attorney, and assessor, and numerous county departments and entities under the supervision of the chief executive officer. Regional The city is a member of the South Bay City's Council of Governments. Politics Inglewood has the highest percentage of registered Democrats of any city in California, with 75.6% of its 48,615 voters registered in May 2009 as Democrats. 7% were registered as Republicans, and 14.1% declined to state a preference. In 2005, the Bay Area Center for Voting Research, a nonpartisan organization in Berkeley, ranked Inglewood as the sixth most liberal city in the United States, after Oakland, California, and just ahead of Newark, New Jersey. Researchers examined voting patterns of 237 American cities with populations over 100,000 and ranked them on liberal and conservative scales. Infrastructure The United States Postal Service operates the Hillcrest Inglewood Post Office at 300 East Hillcrest Boulevard, and the Morningside Park Post Office at 3212 West 85th Street. The North Inglewood Post Office at 811 North Lane, Brea Avenue, was converted to a Dollar Tree in 2013. The county government provides countywide services such as elections and voter registration, law enforcement, jails, vital records, property records, tax collection, public health, and social services. The Los Angeles County Department of Health Services operates the Curtis Tucker Health Center in Inglewood. The city was served by the Daniel Freeman Memorial Hospital for more than five decades, from 1954 until its closure in 2007. Public libraries The city of Inglewood operates a main library in the city civic center. In addition to a branch in the southeastern corner of the city, near the intersection of Crenshaw and Imperial and a branch in Morningside Park near the intersection of 85th Street and Crenshaw.